The Silver Wedding Handicap is next. This is a mile and a half, 0 to 110. And Fibers at the top four. Joshua Southern, Priscilla Assertive, Graham Clutterbuck, Born Infanta, James Shea, Jane Burden, Marty Liram, and Olivia Padre Hogan, Payon Blossom, Marty Liram, Petrovna Location, and the Bunty for David Robertson, Dolores Abernathy, Dan Hughes, Pepperoni Jose, CDJ Liggett, Arabian Knight, Padre Hogan, Lion Star and Finish Ella, Alex Cherry, and Quint Broker, and Benici Hope for Ben Benici. So 15 of them then. And this one just around the one turn. And in the rain again. And away they go. Closest to us is Jane Bird. Not going to be too pulled off by that wide draw. But just that one kink of a bend to go in this. But now at the lead, it's Born Infanta who's gone on from Jane Bird. And who's gone into second. In fact, the one that was wide of a track's Pale Blossom in the same colours. But that was a grey horse. And you'd have thought I'd have known which one's which, considering they're both mine. But there you go, it's been a long week already. Anyway, Born in front is in the lead from Jane Burden second. Benici Hope has gone third. Then Pale Blossom and Petrovna, Lo Petrovna Location after that with Lion Star, the early back marker. So they're already through the first few furlongs then and born in Fanta in his in the lead and clear by five or six lengths to Bonichi Hope in the blue jacket in second then comes Petrovna location Dolores Abernathy the first of the greys the second grey in the maroon jacket is Pale Blossom and the same colours Jane Burden over on the rail then Priscilla Assertive is with that one in the near side as we see them now, the third of the greys is David Robertson's The Bunty and looking towards the back fibre and line star on the back too and a born Infanta is clear in front by a good four lengths to Petrovna location is moved through into second. Bonichi Hope is still there in third. Priscilla Assertive going well up the centre of the track is in fourth. Dolores Abernathy well placed as well. So too Pale Blossom. Joan Burden's got the rail wide on the track. And Olivia and Arabian Knight are trying to get into it as well. The Bunty is in mid division. So too is Pepperoni Jose, Quint Broker and Lion Star now the back pair. But the lead is down to a length then past the five for born Infanta. Jane Burden in second. Dolores Abernathy being driven up on the outside of that one to take much closer order then comes Petrovna location then after that one comes Pale Blossom Priscilla Assertive is still there then Olivia and Fiber and Arabian Knights also trying to get into it wide open this one with three and a half to go and Born Infanta continues to repel Raiders in the lead Jane Burden is second Dolores Abernathy third Pale Blossom wide on the track four and then the inside of that one is Arabian Knight Fibers now beginning to get into it as well and also Olivia coming around the outside but Born Infanta kicks on again and is too clear again now from the Greys, Dolores Abernathy and the Bunty. Then down on this near side, Jane Burden. Then comes Petrovna location. Arabian Knight Faber's trying to get into it as well. It's wide open as they go past the leader. Then now the new leader is the Bunty. Dolores Abernathy, Petrovna location inside the final furlong. Jane Burden on this near side. There's about 10 of them in a the line as they race into the final half furlong. Wide open this one. Priscilla Assertive, the Bunty. Jane Burden. Jane Burden's just beginning to get up. Jane Burden down on this near side. He's got to take it, I think. And Jane Burden might have just taken it. What? A piece of handicap in there. 10 or 12 of them in a line with half a furlong to go. And I think Jane Burden's just got up to take it. And the handicap has done himself there because the handicap has finished second. So Jane Burden takes it for Martin Lee off virtual top weight. Priscilla Assertive was second for Graham Clutterbuck. Third was, I think it was the Bunty for David Robertson. Pale Blossom was fourth in the same stable as the winner, and Fibre was fifth for Joshua Sutherland. It's a great piece of handicapping and a thrilling finish to the Silver Wedding Handicap.